From WCPO 9, it's a new day. Good morning. Today I'm joined by two ladies who are on a mission to serve. They are Dr. Yasmina Jovich and Charlene Myers from Focus. Thank you for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you very much. Now, Dr. Yasmina Jovich is a mother of a local filmmaker whose movie entitled Beyond the Peak will be featured in a special dinner and movie presentation at a local church. And Charlene Myers is heading an organization that would benefit from the events. Now I've watched Beyond the Peak, what an inspiring documentary. Could you tell us about the movie? Well, it is a very family friendly uh, nature movie. It is a spiritual movie and uh, it presents the probably um, highest liturgy, orthodox liturgy in North America. So they went to 17,000 feet Mount Blanca in Colorado, mm -hmm. and that's where they served the liturgy with the priest. Yes, and that was a high climb. It <laughs> was a high climb. And they took a lot of things with them as well. They took a lot of things with them, and I think that would be very interesting to hear how did Alexander organize everything. And uh, he had a four-man crew, and get, so all of them had to have their own gears yeah. and you had to get that up the mountain mm -hmm. and also shoot while the, while the mountain climbers have, are climbing, the, the four man crew is shooting nonstop. Oh my goodness, and that had to have been very challenging. <laughs> very challenging, yes. yes. I think it's uh, worthwhile coming and seeing the movie because my son will be there and he will explain the, the you know, why he decided to make this movie, how the whole organization, uh, technical part happened, you know, what were his challenges, what did he get out of the movie, you know. Yeah. So I think it would be very interesting to hear a voice from LA. Yes, it will be interesting. <laughs> what inspired Alexander to do this type of film? Well, actually, he kind of uh, started talking to David, the main character of the movie, and he really became very interested in the story, like, why are you guys going every year back to this big hike, you know, in, into it's either between 14 and 17,000 feet that they climb in, in Colorado. And he heard the story, so he said, wow, this is an amazing story. I want to uh, film you guys when you guys go on the next climb. So that's how it happened. Now, Charlene, uh, tell us about Focus. Now, we had you guys on the show recently. Yes. What is it all about? Focus Cincinnati is actually an acronym, um, and uh, it's actually two acronyms. One of them is Fellowship of Orthodox Christians United to Serve. And the second one is really what we're all about, which is food, occupation, clothing, understanding, and shelter. And what we do as a mission is we serve two community meals a month, one at Christ the Savior in Norwood, and one at Holy Trinity St. Nicholas in Finneytown. And it really is about having fellowship with the community, serving their needs by providing meals. We have a garden, that uh, produces uh, vegetables that we give for free in our food pantries. We have a food pantry that happens as well. Yeah. So all of those things are meant to support our neighbors in need. Absolutely, that, well that's a great job that you guys do there. Now tell us about the event, the dinner and the movie. When is it and where is it? It's September 6th and it is at Holy Trinity St. Nicholas Church at 7000 Winton Road. It is at six o'clock and there'll be a dinner. There'll be some great Greek food as long, uh, along with some other kinds of food. Yeah. And um, then we'll have the movie and we'll have Alexander there and he will uh, discuss the movie and um, look forward to everyone coming out to the movie. Now, if people want more information about Focus or the event, where can they go? Uh, FocusCincinnati.org. Uh, is the website and uh, there'll be information there. Uh, it'll also be, also be on our Facebook page. Uh, again, Focus Cincinnati is the, I think, thing you Google. Yeah. Uh, and so you could um, uh, find information in both places. Awesome, and if people want more information about Alexander and Beyond the Pink, Peak, where can yes, they go? Yes, uh, Beyond the Peak has its own face page. You can Google him, you can find him there. He recently interviewed for Ancient Faith Radio, okay. uh, Everyday Orthodoxy, so that's available as well online, so yeah. And I hear that he's working on a new project? Well, he is just finishing actually a, a short movie, and uh, he was in Alaska doing a project for another 
uh, organization and that is like a promotional, their promotional uh, videos. So I think he would uh, like to do more of these promotional videos because there he can really implement his, all, all of his facets that he is capable of doing. So producing, directing, camera, editing, Next, yeah. And working with with people. Oh, that's amazing. With the groups. <laughs> well, thank you ladies so much for being here today. Good luck with your event. Mm -hmm. And you guys go out and watch Beyond the Peak, really. It's definitely it's amazing. And uh, stop by and get you a dinner too. And we will be right back. <laughs>